Okay, for our next challenge, we are going to start tracking directions. So in our previous challenge, our previous challenges, what we're wondering our robot to do is move through this grid. Um, so the first one was move east. All right, so we wanted to move our robot east until we got to the edge of the grid. Then um, in the next challenge, we wanted to move south. So this, uh, after we finished this challenge, our robot actually ended up in this place over here, but it ran four times and then stopped. So we actually have the uh, VR here. I pull up the playground. All right, and so um, if you watch here on the move east and move south commands, we can see it happen. All right, so we're moving one, two, three, four times, and then we move once more on try to move south. But it doesn't actually go south. Instead, it uh, uh, it moves straight ahead. All right, so. Today's challenge is to get that robot to move to the south instead of moving straight ahead. All right. So what do we need to do? Um, the first thing is that we need to know what direction the robot is facing. Uh, now for this grid, remember things are weird. This over here is north. So this left-hand side is north. This will be east, south, and west for the purposes of this program. Um, this is because of the orientation of this grid. I cannot rotate the grid. I can't change the starting position of the robot, or at least I don't know how to. Um, so we're kind of stuck here. So this is a 1-1. One, one. Um, this is a 1-5. And so the north side is the left-hand side. Anyway, whatever. Um, we're, we're running our robot, and what we need to do is figure out what direction he's facing. So to do this, we need codes. All right, Computer science is all about codes. So we're going to make north the number one, east the number two, south the number three, and west the number four. So the first thing that needs to happen is that we need to come into our program here um, and uh, I'm actually going to drag a couple comments in. So here we're going to call this initialize um, position. Okay. Um, and then down here this is start program. Okay, and then I'm going to have a new one here. We're going to put a little gray block in. These are comments, um, uh, and comments just help us track what we're going to do. What we're, what we're going to set up is um, uh, directions. So we want to set up the directions for our robot. So what are those directions? Okay, we want to make four variables. A variable for north, a variable for east, a variable for south and a variable for west. All right, so let's pull out four columns here. We're just going to duplicate this set block. I'm going to turn that sound off. Duplicate this set block four times, and we're setting north, east, south and west. Okay, and we're going to set these values to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now by making them numeric like this, we can establish the fact that uh, a right-hand turn happens every direction change. So from north to east is a right-hand turn, and it's 2 minus 1 is 1, so there's one right-hand turn. But if I want to go from north to south, how many right-hand turns do I need to make? I need to make 1, 2, or 3 minus 1 is 2. If I want to go to west, I need to make three right-hand turns. 1, 2, 3, or 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, so by numbering them in this pattern, we can actually do a very small amount of arithmetic um, that actually helps us uh, execute these commands. So let's drag this here under set up the directions. There we go, so now we have our direction set. And we need to know what direction our robot is facing. Um, so the grid, we start off and we're facing to the east because we're just gonna drive east, so we're setting our robot down so it's already ready to go to the east. So our, our robot's initial facing is east. So we're gonna make another variable called direction. Um, and that variable is gonna be set to east Okay, because that's the default direction for our robot. 
All right, so this is our setup for directions. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, modify our go south code. We will also need to modify our move east code, but we're going to start by just modifying the move south code. Let's get some of this code out of the way. It's just not, there we go. Okay, we just want to focus on move south. So the problem here is the, ro the robot is moving forwards. Okay, it's moving forwards um, instead of turning to face the south and then moving forwards. So if we drag another comment in here, then what we need to do is turn to the south if necessary. Okay, um, and uh, the way to the way to do this, the way to turn to the south if necessary, is to check to see what direction we're facing. All right, um, and so uh, we want to check to see if we are facing the right direction. Okay, and then if not. then we want to turn until we are facing the right direction. Okay, so if, we, if, we're, not turn, uh, if we're not facing the right direction, we want to turn until we are facing the right direction. Okay, um, so it turns out that we actually will skip this step right here. Okay. Um, we actually don't need to do that step but because we can accomplish it in this step, okay? So if not, we want to turn until. The key word here for facts is the word until. If we look in our control structures, you'll see clear down at the bottom that we have a repeat until, okay? We also have a while, so we could use a while, um, but repeat until is a pretty good one. All right, so we're going to actually use this one. Um, what repeat until does for us is it executes in a loop a command until a condition is met. So what we want to do is we want to turn right for 90 degrees, okay, until our facing, our direction, is equal to the direction we want to move, okay? So again, we want to turn right um, until our, our direction is, is uh, the right way. So this is, uh, this is south. So we want to turn until our direction is south. All right. So that's an operator, an equals operator. Okay. Um, and so now what you want to do here is take just a second and see if you can fill this out. I've been kind of racing ahead um, and not giving you a chance to work. Let's pause for a second and give you a chance to work. What goes into these spots? We want to repeat until our robot's direction is equal to south. All right. So if we look at our variables, our robot's direction is given in this capsule. And the direction south, the code for south, is given in this capsule. So when our direction is equal to south, we want to or until, until the direction is equal to south, we want to turn. So if you plug this into the program, if you plug this into the program now, your robot will actually start turning forever. So let's check it out. All right, let's stop this, reset it, and so here we go. One, two, three, four, and we're going to turn right, and you know, we're just going to keep spinning, all right? The reason why is because we're not updating the direction that we're facing when we turned. All right? So if you think about turning and you're facing east, big on. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. When you're turning and you're facing east, okay, um, you have to kind of update yourself. If I turn right from east direction, then I know I'm facing south. But our computer doesn't know that we need to tell our computer what direction it's facing. Um, so turning once to the right doesn't necessarily mean we're facing south. So one thing we could do, um, one thing, in fact, you might have already tried to do it, is just take your direction and set it equal to south. But the problem here 
is that what if our direction was north and we want to face south? Okay, if our direction is north and we want to face south, then we actually need to turn twice. And if I just set direction to south, then this loop will terminate after one execution. So we don't want to do that. Instead, we want to count on the fact that our directions are one unit apart. So if I'm east and I turn south, you know, I turn right one time, then my direction goes up by one. Okay, so if I'm facing east and I turn south, my direction goes up by one. If I'm facing north and I turn to the south, my direction goes up by one, two. All right, so every time it turns 90 degrees, direction goes up by one. All right, now the code for that we've already done many times before. So pause the video for just a second and see if you can fill out that code. Okay, all you need to do is duplicate this plus from the row section. We'll get rid of that variable and then we want a copy of our direction capsule. So we just want to take direction plus one and plug that in. Okay, and this will get us going. All right, let's have a look then. All right, so we're going to go forward once, twice, three times, four times. We turn to the right and then we move one time and jackpot. Okay, now uh, that's it. So we've moved to the south. Okay, um, so that's it for this particular challenge. In the next challenge, we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to move back to the east. So we move south. We're going to move back to the east. Um, also, your code for moving west needs to be updated to include the same kind of code as when moving south. Um, so if you want to, you're a little feeling a little ambitious, you can give that a shot, um, updating this code so that it also repeats until we're facing the right direction, okay? Um, and so then, let's see, I'm going to delete this block and this one, and then I'm going to drag a new comment out here. Ah, there we go. All right, and this is just going to say um, update position and move forward. All right, so there you go.